Hey, hey, Art Sippers. Sippers. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? Welcome to Art Sippers. Welcome, welcome. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Elliot Naughty. They call me Naughty around here. And I'm Josie Pitcher. So, we are Naughty Pitcher. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. It is, and we are art sippers. We yes. are bringing you some art and some sipping today. So let's have a little look at the artwork. Naughty, which what is this one called today? This is a nice, simple. This is a ladybird. That's Ooh. what we're going to call. It. We're just going to call it a ladybird. That's why we're going to need a fancy name. But we're just going <laughs> to go simple. A ladybird, and we're going to take you from zero to Picasso in just under 90 minutes. You're gonna create this masterpiece, this. This is the artwork we are painting today. We're gonna to be taking you step by step. You can change the background if you wanted to. You can have it sitting on a, a leaf or a flower. Very, very, get creative. It can, it's up to you, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, it's very, very nice one today. We want you to put your spin on it. This has to be your special artwork that you're happy with mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. We know you're all gonna have a worthy <laughs> artwork. We know it, we know it. And this is part of the sipping side of Art Sippers. Ooh. This is Belly the Bell. And every time we press Belly the Bell, you're gonna have a cheeky little sip. It's like Naughty did. So. <laughs> <laughs> I almost trouble with this. I thought that was so scary. <laughs> so if you've got one of our creative gift boxes, grab your creative gift box and open up your box and grab your cheeky sip. And you might even find we a cheeky are nibble in that. Drinking a sparkly fiery ginger. I've already started. To taste it's very, very so tasty. You what might have want you got inside your box? Get a new Thank one you now. You still some Thank you very much. And this is to just give you a moment of pause and reflection when you're creating. Because when you are creating, <laughs> you might sometimes feel a little bit nervous. You mm -hmm. might feel a little bit tense and just relax. Yeah. Have a pause, have a cheeky sip. All right, so I'm going to take you through the tools for today. So let's have a look. You're going to want to grab your canvas. So grab your canvas. I have got the stretched canvas. Today. This is perfect because you can hang this up on the wall. This mm -hmm. is why we use the stretch canvas today. Yeah, so you can hang it up nice and neatly on your wall once you've completed it and it's dry. Then you're going to need three paintbrushes. So if you dig deep inside your box, you will find paintbrushes like this. You are going to want the big flat brush. The big one. So this one here. Big flat brush. This is to paint some of the larger areas of your canvas. So definitely if you want this textured background here, you'll want to paint that with the big brush. Even some of the um, the ladybug there, you're going to want to paint that too. Then we have got our medium brush. This is the one with the rounded edge. This is called a filbert brush. Cheeky little filbert. So grab your filbert. You'll have one that's got a flat edge, then you've got one with a round edge. Let's use the round edge one today, this medium brush. This is going to help definitely with some of the spots there. And then we have got the small detail brush. And yes, you're right, this is going to be for the taller details. We've got the antennae and the legs. Definitely want to paint them there. And you want to grab a pencil because we will be sketching this out. This is oh, yes. a paint by numbers. We're doing it real thing. We're going to sketch it all out. You might want a rubber as well. There's a rubber on the bottom. I need so much rubber. So I've got my little rubber. Paper towel. This is to wipe your brushes. Clean your brushes. Wipe off any excess paint. Then we have got some paint. This today we're using acrylic paint. So if you dig deep inside your box, we've got a selection of loads of different paints. And we're gonna use quite a few today. We've got a few up here. We have got white, nice titanium white. Lemon yellow, that is the bright yellow. Yellow ochre, that is a bit more of a mustardy yellow. Crimson red. You'll find your red in there. Orange. We definitely pop a little bit of orange onto the ladybug shell. Phthalo blue. We love it, phthalo. Phthalo. <laughs> phthalo blue. That's, there's two blues in your paint kit. One is spelled P H T Halo. Like a little halo on your head. And then the other one is ultramarine, but we're going to use a phthalo blue today. Green. Now you want to use that grass green there in your box. 
or a sap green if you have one at home any kind of green then we've got burnt umber and black love it so there are acrylic paints be careful if you are using acrylic paints and you've got your nice clothes on be careful not to get them on your clothes it can be difficult to get out if you do accidentally get any paints on your clothes baby wipes these are your friend just get one out and wipe off any of that paint juice before <laughs> it dries and you will not have any happy little activities and then this did not come inside your box you're going to want to run and grab some tap water Ooh. now this looks like a little messy cup i use this cup all the time this has actually got some clean water in it and i just dip my brush in there and wash it disclaimer don't accidentally sip on your paint juice when we press the lovely belly the bell <laughs> because you might accidentally forget that this is about sipping your lovely juice and not sipping the paint juice if you accidentally do it it happens there's no judgment that's our one rule art sippers there is no judgment this is the space where you can create without any of us judging anything that happens. Yes. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna tell you the one rule that we have at Art Sippers, and that is no judgment. There's no judgment in this room today. Exactly. Well, no judgment. Picture. Yeah. No, no judgment, judgment at all. Um. So naughty. Do you want to do a little exercise to warm everybody up? I think we should. Come I on think in. we should. So before we create a masterpiece, we need to feel relaxed and we need to feel happy. So I want you to all do one thing for me. Drop those sips on the table and drop your paint brushes too and let's do a nice breathing exercise to get us into the zone are you ready for me little sippers are you ready okay on three two one piano fingers i want you to put your fingers out wide and just feel like you're playing the piano and once you've got that nice twinkle fingers we want you to raise them to the sky and raise them high and once you've got them high into the sky we'll take a deep inhale from those and shake it out, shake out all that negative energy, all of that, all that tension. And we'll do it again. Piano. And let's raise them high to the sky. Take a deep inhale through nose and shake it off. And all of that should now help you create a masterpiece. If you're still feeling a little bit nervous, we've got this. Oh, where's it gone? Where's my little, where's my ding ding gone? Where's the ding ding gone? Ready. Okay. I think it's time. I think it's time to get going. Let's have a little look at the reference photo. All right, so this is what we're going to be painting. We've got the ladybug coming in on the side. It's the left hand corner coming in at the bottom, really. Got that big elytra there. So that's the that's the kind of hard shell that covers the wings underneath. Elytra. So that's the red part, the one that makes it all pretty. Got a bit of a reflection and some spots. We've got the head as well, more spots in the legs, antennae. And then we've got this kind of textured green background. So let's get going with the sketch. Right, grab your pencils. And let's start sketching. So what we're going to do to start with is we are going to do this little line here. So you see this little line here? Okay, so let's do that. So it's not kind of halfway, it's a little bit before halfway down your canvas. Grab your pencil. We're gonna put our canvas in landscape mode. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a slight curved line like this. All right, so Just I'm gonna- have it in there. I'm going to do it quite hard so you can see at home. So can you see that's about halfway down? So we're just going to do a little curvy line like that. Okay. Then we're going to do the other side. We want to do a curvy line here that comes off the canvas and a curvy line here that comes off the canvas. So it looks like it's crawling into the sea. We want to make sure it's curvy as well, otherwise it's going to have a quite a square shell. So we want it curvy. So curve round here, and then we want to curve round, oh, to about there. See, I'm just doing it in my pencil. You can do it a little bit lighter. And then curve round here too. 
I'm just going to do that a little bit stronger in pencil. Like that. That's our little shell. We can do a little line down the middle as well, a curvy line down the middle, like that. Separating it. Usually separates it so it can open up and let the wings out. Okay. Now we're going to do this part up here, like the head. We're going to curve out here and curve out here. Can you see that kind of just curves out either side? So we're going to go to this bit here, come down a little bit, and we're going to curve out like that. So is this a ladybird or a ladybug picture? I think they. I call them ladybirds. You what do you call them? Birds. You said ladybug. I earlier. call them ladybird, but sometimes when I figure it, I call them a ladybug. <laughs> but I've actually got it right down here. It actually says ladybird is a name more commonly used in the United Kingdom, ah. Ireland, South Africa, and Australia. And ladybug is a term more commonly used in North America. Mm. So there you have it. You can call it either or mm -hmm. ladybug or ladybird. Which one do you prefer, little sippers? All right, so come up a little bit from here and we're going to do a curve out again, a bit like the other side. We're mirroring it a little bit. Looks strange right now. <laughs> Looks like two little legs coming up. Oh, it does. <laughs> this is why we say no judgment, no judgment just yet. And then we want to do another curve line like this. Curving back round. So of course it's like almost like a shark fin. Same with this one. This one looks a bit like an upside down shark fin. <laughs> yes, it does. Or a big V, curvy V. Now leaving a little gap here where we're going to do a smiley face curve line again and join them up. We're getting there. We've just done this part here. Then we're going to add a little extension there. Are you little sippers keeping up? I know pictures sometimes go quite fast, but I know you can keep up. I know you can. Are you keeping up? Okay. We're going to curve out here and do a big kind of rounded edge here where the eyes are. So we're going to do a curve round like this and curve round. So it's like a backward C. Go. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. And just to let you know, little sippers, if you didn't know, this is what we do at Art Sippers. We tell dad jokes. We tell artifacts. So throughout this experience, I'm going to be throwing out some <laughs> artifacts on some dad jokes. And if you can answer them at home, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> because this is all about being creative. Not just being creative with your hands, be creative with your mind. It's <laughs> important. Very important. Whether you're watching this live or you're watching this back, you can still get involved and put the comments underneath. Answer before Naughty tells the tells you the answer. I'll see give how them well you done. I'll give them some time. See if they can get it. Before yeah. I give them the prompts or give them some hints. <laughs> Let's do this little curve bit on the end here. Little nose. Should we do soon and tell her? Let's do this. Why not? Now, let's do this one here. It wiggles out to the side, and this one wiggles out to the side too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So it comes just around this little bit that we just added here on the head, and it just wiggles out like that. Let's make it a little bit thicker though. So curve round and bring it back and make it double it up that's it same with this one let's wiggle this one out next to that little bit curve round at the end make it thicker follow it back round 
Perfect. So can you guess how many species of ladybirds there are in the world? Right. See, I only thought there was like one or two. There's, a, there's way more than one or two. There's, there's mm. more than a few. <laughs> See if you can get closest to the number. Close to number. How many species of ladybirds or bugs are there in the world? <laughs> Think about it. Same number. Say it out loud. Well, I know that there's the red and black ones. Sometimes I see orange ones. Sometimes I see yellow ones. And sometimes I see black ones. They're, I think, they're the only ones I've seen. <laughs> and the only <laughs> yeah, They're the most pink. iconic. You've got the black and then you've got the red. And they're the most iconic. The most so iconic cool. color. <laughs> that are best for, but well, there's loads and loads of different <laughs> varieties and different species of ladybirds. I'm going to go for how many species. Mm. Let's see some of the details here, some of the spots. We've got two up on this bit here. So you can do slightly circle on this part here. We've got some of the spots coming around the side, which I always, when I was younger, thought were the eyes, but they're just details. So I'm going to do some wobbly spots here. And you don't have to them exactly the same but you can see i've wobbled a little bit wobbly line a bit so it's not a complete circle i like that wobble 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 do you know what i think they need <laughs> what a cheeky sit cheeky sit yeah. yes mm. let's do it ginger okay so we've got this big one that comes out here down the middle. I actually used a photo from the internet to reference. I didn't have a little ladybug in my hand. Oh. Would have been nice. I'm but not sure if it's the season for the moment. Come out of this time. No. Quite cold. Not really, no. So you can do a little line coming out and round and wobble it a little bit, make it a little bit more patchier. Like that. I've got another couple of spots, spotty dotties, round here, and maybe another one here. Now you can add more if you want, or you can add less, it's up to you, they're all different. I'm gonna put one there, maybe a little touch of one over here. Yeah, there's so much diversity, an incredible vari variation in colours and patterns, and that's why there's a lot of them. And I threw out there, how many species of ladybirds are there? Did you get close? Did you get close? So, apparently, there are over 6,000, well, yes, 6,000 different species of ladybirds in the world. Did you get close to 6,000? That's a lot. Now, I don't know if you saw just then, but I actually carried it round the edge. So I carried the shell on round. So. Oh, I like that picture. So it almost gives that kind of 3D effect. Brings your ladybird to life. Hmm. I did actually do it. Yeah. It comes round. So if you're using a stretch canvas, you just stretch it round. Okay, let's do some leg. Every ladybird needs the legs. <laughs> Okay. Right, so look, they're just coming out. There's two coming out of the head here. And then they've got the ones just in the middle. And then there are some behind, but we don't catch that bit because it crops off. So let's start here. So I like to have a little thicker bit to start with. And then it kind of curves round and gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it turns into these tiny little feet. You see that tiny little feet? Oh, I see so we that. start by doing a little block or a little block over this side. You do a little small one and then you do a big one. And then you do get smaller and thinner, smaller and thinner, and then do a tiny little foot. Before you do that, I'm going to sneak in. Oh, I'm yeah, sneak come, in. come in here. You ready? Yeah. Little sippers, see if you can get this. Why don't ladybugs or ladybirds play hide and seek? They never play. You'll never see them playing it. And there's a reason. You got the answer? <laughs> Why don't they play hide and seek? This is a good one. It's a nice and easy dad joke. Mm. Start you are. Try and guess it. Put it in the comments before. Naughty tells everyone. 
I'm going to do a little bump there and it's just coming off the head. I'm going to do a tiny little one there. Another little one. So it's like little sections. You come down, round and up. Now I'm going to do a big one. Cross. So it's kind of come down, but now it's going across. And then make that big one. Make that a big sausage. Oh, you're making me hungry now to my <laughs> sausages. And then I'm going to do another little one. Go down, across and back. Maybe the tiniest little one down, across and back. And then tiny little foot, out, out. Same with the same up here, same kind of thing. So we'll do a little round bit like that. Do a tiny little one. We'll do a big sausage shape. And they can go in any kind of direction. You can maybe go up a little bit now. So go up, across and down, a bit like a triangle. You do it again, it's getting smaller and a bit thinner. So I was thinking, why do they call them ladybirds when they're not really birds? They're, they're more beetles, they're Baby beetles. beetles. They're lady, lady beetles. beetles. Lady, they, should lady be, beetles. they should be lady beetles. Mm -hmm. Do you not find that strange, little siblings? Lady beetles. I think we should start calling them lady beetles. <laughs> Makes more sense. <laughs> okay, should we do some of these legs? Here. Not as long. They're kind of under the body a little bit in this one. These ones are spread out. These ones are going a little bit under the body. So let's do our little bump. Take it down the shell a little bit, maybe around about here. Doesn't matter if you go further down. Let's do that big sausage shape. Going backwards, I'm going backwards for this one. You're reversing, backwards. Then the tiny little one, I'm gonna go outwards here. Maybe a bit smaller. And then the tiny little bit. It's just two lines flicked out on the side. Same thing over here. Do that first little bumpy one. Do that sausage shape. Oh, and it comes all the way off now, so I don't need to do any more. Unless you want to do some going around here. Oh, make it more 3D. Do it. <laughs> Same thing the other side. And we are pretty much done. That's a great little scale. Yeah, we are done. We have done everything. Now, this is the time where you might want to draw some flowers or something in, in the background, but I'm just going to go with this soft textured effect. I like it. It looks like a little woodland or something like that. It's a really nice <laughs> yeah. effect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So there now we've got a sketch. I think it's time to have a cheeky sip. This is to give a little pause and reflection. And I'll see if anyone got the first dad joke. So I said, why don't ladybirds play hide and seek? Why don't they? Did you get the answer? I'll tell you. It's because they're always spotted. They're yeah. always spotted. You can't always <laughs> spot them. Too easy. Too easy. Very good. Very Did good. Did you get that little sipper? Very good. All right. Let's get painting. What I do like to start with is painting this lovely red shell. The elytra. So we're going to paint that. We're going to paint that a bold red. Maybe even put a little bit of orange in there. So you can see it's actually a little bit darker down the middle, just here, maybe around the top part. Lighter here, but definitely a little bit darker. And then a touch of lightness at the top there too. So we're going to change the lightness just a little bit all over the shell so we can, so it looks a little bit more 3D. So it doesn't look so flat. We just painted it all in one colour. It looked quite flat. We want it to look slightly round. So we're going to be painting different kind of shades of red a little bit, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter in areas, just so that we get that 
multicolor for some depth. I did say that there's loads of different ladybug colours. Do you know mm -hmm. that there's obviously red is the most common one. Mm -hmm. And you've got red, you've got black spots. Mm -hmm. And then you've got things like orange. You've got orange. You do. And you can paint your ladybird or bug or beetle <laughs> any colour you want. So you can go for a black one with red spots. You can go for the orange one. Yellow with black spots. Oh, yellow. Yeah. And you even can do some that. Asian ladybugs. Do you know they, they've got. Pinkish. Oh really? Yeah, oh, that that so a good one. many different ones, and there's a few others that you'll see that might have white, uh, with white white species, the two spotted ladybug, mm. nearly white or cream coloured with nice. minimal black markings. So there's loads of different colours. Some yeah, some don't have as many spots, do they? So mix it up. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by mixing a lighter shade of red. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny touch of this red paint here. And we're gonna mix it in with our orange. So orange has got a bit of red in it already. And actually this orange color is gonna lighten this red ever so slightly. So you'll have a mixture of these two colors and it will be an in-between color. So it won't be quite red and it won't be quite orange. It'll be a dark kind of orange color. So take a bit more orange, mix it in. And you want a kind of really dark orange. That's a dark orange. That's a medium orange there, isn't it? This is quite a dark orange, so I might even make a little bit more because we've got so much of that shell to paint. It's perfect. And we're actually going to make a lighter orange as okay. well. So wash your brush. So you just paint the bottom of the cup, paint the paper towel. Get off all the excess. All clean. Now, how would we make a light orange? How would we make a light orange? Now, a lot of people would say, add some white to it, add some yeah, white. That's what I would have said. And you can make a lighter orange that way. But it will actually give you a pastel colour if you do that. Let's have a look at that. So, say, so take some white, add some orange to it. And you can see it's going a pastel colour. Now, I don't really want the pastel orange. I want a bright, light orange. So, let's have a think about how we make orange. Orange is made using yellow and red you mix them two primary colors together you get orange so if we have a look at these primary colors which one's lighter red or yellow yellow it's definitely a little bit brighter and lighter than red red is a little bit darker isn't it so yellow so we can use yellow if we wash our brush get that white off it get that pastel color off if we use our yellow and mix it into the orange we might get a brighter, lighter orange. So take some yellow to the side, mix a tiny, only small amount of orange in there, and you'll see straight away it's going into a light orange. It's almost like a dark yellow, very light orange. So add a little bit more. Oh, I like that color, really nice. See, look at the difference in that. So we have got two light oranges. One's a pastel shade and one's a light, bright orange. Now, I think this colour is going to be better for our ladybird. This one's good for other colours and other paintings, but not for this one, I don't think. Okay, so we're not going to use this one today, but we are going to use red, orange, this light shade, and this kind of medium shade to get this depth of this shell. So Do it. Let's wash our medium brushes. We're still using our medium brush. I don't know if they even said we're using our medium brush, but we're using our medium brush. Medium brush time. And what we're going to do is we are going to paint over these spots. So we're not actually going to try and paint around them. We're going to paint on top of them and then hopefully we can find them later. Oh, we're going to lose the spots. We'll lose the spots, but we can always paint them back, which is good. That's good. So grab your brush, get it slightly damp and wet. We always want to have a little bit of a damp brush. And let's start with our orange. We're going to start with our orange, this normal orange that we squeeze from the tube. We're going to start with orange and we're going to paint it on the bottom part. So this is a little bit lighter, this part. We're going to paint quite thick. We're going to paint round. Can you see the brush stroke? What, which direction? I'm not going across like this. I'm going around the shell. Okay, so you're following the contours. Follow the contours of the shell, yes. Nice. You can paint all the way up to the pencil and on the pencil line so we get rid of that line. If you paint enough on that line, it will disappear. 
And this is going to be a really good artwork to keep. Do you know why? Because in myths and legend, ladybirds bring good luck and grant wishes. Ooh. So if you have this up on your wall, this could be a nice good little luck artwork. Charm. Give a little good luck charm. Just give mm. a little cheeky wish now and again. It might come true. Mm -hmm. Let's paint it around the side here too. So you get that 3D effect. Okay. Okay, we're going to paint, keep it wet. So we want it nice and thick, this, this paint here. Want it thick. And then, I know it's a bit weird having this orange right now, but it's going to make sense in a minute. So you're thinking, oh, I don't want to paint an orange one. Don't worry. Let's go in with our dark orange. You remember that dark orange that we made when we mix them two together? Let's go in with that. Let's go in there and we're going to overlap this line here with that dark orange. Now it doesn't look much different. And that's okay. We don't want it to look too much different. We just overlap it a little bit. We paint this all here. You can still see our little spots. Can you see? Oh, we haven't see lost them, lost them. Depends on how strong your pencil markings are. If you've lost them, don't worry. Spots are easy to paint in. Okay, so we overlap in it overlapping so this is the dark orange and we've got the light orange and you can't really see because it's so close in color that you can't really see the difference but it will make a difference when you paint it all together now i haven't washed my brush because we're using the oranges and it's still got orange so it's fine and that's still the medium brush picture medium brush medium yeah. brush okay let's go in with our red just the red as it is and we're going to paint, keep going, paint. Oh, can you see that? It's a little bit different. It's a little bit dark, isn't it? And do you know what we need to do? Because it's got that harsh line, we need to overlap into that dark orange. And when you start overlapping into that dark orange, you'll see that line disappear slightly if you keep going over it. Oh, it blends in. I like that. The blend, yes. Yeah. So this is called a wet on wet blend. This is where the paints are both wet and they merge together and blend together. Mix create. and blend, my friends. Mm -hmm. Mix and blend. I'm liking this technique. And it creates that kind of smooth gradient. So you can just go down a little bit. Keep doing that curve, curve. Follow that curve line. The same kind of line that you've got here. You want to do that curve line. That's it. So if you can just see the lines, just paint over it a little bit, slightly over it like that. When it's wet like that and they just blend out ever so slightly that's it okay carry on with your red keep going up there go I think it's time for another dad joke. Let's okay. see if you guys can get this. Lady birds are really nice, but they can be a bit annoying. So mm -hmm. can you tell me, what do you say if a ladybird is just annoying and just annoying you? What would you say? It's just, just there, just flying around or just crawling all, all over your body. What would you say? What would you say to a ladybird that is annoying you? There we go. Carry with the red. So what would you say to a ladybird that's annoying you? I'm trying to think. I'll give you a few seconds before I give the answer. <laughs> I'm going to paint around the sides as well. If you've got any sides, make sure you paint the sides. I'll get my hands all dirty if I do it my side. And it's a perfect thing to paint around the sides because when you hang this up on your wall, you will be loving it. It looks good at every single mm -hmm. angle. That's very true. Now I'm going to use that dark orange again so remember we did light to dark to red to dark orange and we're gonna go a little bit lighter as well so we're gonna do that dark orange it's getting a little bit lighter here just do a little bit of that and then maybe just a tiny touch of orange right up here just at the top of that shell there. We're going to blend that in as well? Yeah, make sure you blend it. So blending it by going back and forth, back and forth. 
over the wet paint. Mix and blend, my friends. Mix and blend. And you keep going back and forth, and it will just disappear. And it won't look like much, but it will give that depth. It will make it look like it's a little bit rounded here. There you go. If it's too orange in places in some areas and you want to add a little bit more red or the dark orange, you can just bring that in and keep going back and forth, back and forth. So I'm going to bring a little bit more down here. Back and forth, that red, definitely a little bit more down here. Back and forth and it just blends nice and smooth. There we go. Now it's like a really nice shell, really vibrant. Very vibrant. Put a bit more of that red down. Going back and forth, getting that really nice smooth coverage. You don't want to see any white squares. You don't want to see any of them white squares here. So we're going to lay it on a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker. That's it. Make sure you've got all of them colours down. And I do like to just use a tiny touch of dark red as well. How do we get a bit darker on the red? Oh, she tells you little sippers. <laughs> How do we get it a little bit darker? A little bit darker. A little bit darker. So red is a primary color. It's quite hard to get a dark red with. You could just add black, but it does make it slightly muddy sometimes. So I'm gonna wash my brush. And I'm actually just gonna add a very, very, very small touch of blue. So I'm going to take some red to the side and I'm going to add a very tiny, tiny, tiny touch of blue in there. And you can see it goes a darker red. And now that is a lot darker. So maybe I'll add a bit more red because the blue is so strong. But can you see that's a darker red? It kind of starts taking it towards the purple spectrum. So if you add blue and red together, you get kind of like a deep purple. Now that's a nice deep red. If I wanted to, I can just, oh, you took the wrong one then. I can take a little bit of that dark red color and just put it on areas of the beads. Oh, you can see that. Just making it, again, a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more shape to it. So I can just blend it in with that wet paint going over the top. So we're just layering it up, layering it up with different kind of tones and colours of that red and orange. I like that. Yes, yeah, so you've got loads of different shades in there. So that's normal for a ladybug to be different kind of shades, especially in certain lights. You might see orange colours, red colours. Perfect. Now, I think that's got a lot of paint there. It's covered it all up. Be nice now to do the head. Wait for that to dry before we do the spots. So let's wash our brushes. Let's have a little wash. And every time we dip, what do we have to do? Sip, sip. Have a cheeky sip. And I did throw out another one to you. I said, what do you do if a ladybird is, is annoying you? What would you do? What would you do? What would you say? What would you, you say? Outside? Stop bugging me. Stop <laughs> bugging me. I, I thought you were going to say buzz off, but... <laughs> I know that makes sense. It's a ladybug. It's a ladybug. Bug. So bug off. Yeah, stop bugging me. Stop bugging me. <laughs> Did you get that? I have little sippers. Did you get that? Yeah, we are going to go in with the black now to get your medium. Oh, that's nice. 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 Oh, that's Black, all the way up to the end there. So all this head bit is black. And we've also got the legs that are black and the spots that are black. So we will, when we've got black, we will start doing all the back. We'll do the legs once we've done the background though, because it's easy to do the background and then paint the legs on. But we'll do the head for now. So get your brush and start painting with the medium brush. The black so you might want to do very careful here and do a nice sharp line with your brush the edge of your brush painting all them little white squares now if it's difficult you can add a tiny touch of water to your paint it's a tiny little 
puddle of water, mix some black paint in there. Does that smooth it out? Sometimes it goes a bit smoother mm. and it helps. Now we did do our little spots, but remember we're painting over the spots. So just paint over any spots. We'll get them back in a bit. Now I've definitely lost these ones because this black paint is so strong. <laughs> so dark. So yeah, we'll paint them in once this is dried. There we go. Paint around the sides. Very carefully. This is a bit where I concentrate and I don't. Here's the focus. Here's the focus. I hold my breath. This is this is delicate work, guys. This is delicate work, Slippers. <laughs> you know, I guess you don't want to be bothered right now. Just get into the zone. This is what happens. And just like you not want to be bothered. Ladybugs don't want to be bothered. Oh, and do you know why? That? Because ladybugs, oh, they do this incredible thing. They leak stinky, yucky yellow blood from their leg to. I've definitely get seen that. On my... away. I've definitely seen that on my hand. It happens. So if you pick up a ladybug and it's like, oh, it's not happy with you picking it up, it will actually start to leak its yellow blood. I didn't know that was yellow blood. Yeah. I thought it was a wee wee. No, it actually, it looks like wee wee, but it's actually not. Did it happened to you. It has happened yeah. to me many times. I, I like picking them up and I have them to play, but it's actually to scare the predators away. So it's a bit gross. It's a bit gross. So, but it doesn't like to be disturbed. It's having a great time. We should leave them to be. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They'll be telling us soon. Leave them. We are through their stinky yellow. <laughs> blood stop bugging me stop bugging me so you can see that i'm holding this upside down right now but it actually looks fine like this too so although i've painted it coming up from the bottom corner you can hang it on your wall coming from the top <laughs> oh i like that it could or, be coming in that way you might have it this way on your wall so Ooh, purple i'm not sure which one or this purple. way <laughs> yeah so you can decide which way you like it so you can see here that's quite a nice way. That way. Coming up from the top. Which one do you prefer, little Sippers? Which way do you think you're going to hang yours? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I think I've done all of that bit now. And as I said, I'm going to wait for all of this to dry. You can still see in the light it's shiny. That means it's still wet. I'm going to wait for all of that to dry before I paint on the spots, paint on any of the reflections, paint on any of the details. I think it's time to do the background. Do the background and then we can try and find our legs and sketch them on. I think it's a good idea. But before that, I think I've got a good one. This one's good. Oh, let's have So, what is a ladybird's favourite pattern to wear? So if they're wearing clothes or wearing a dress, what would be their favourite pattern to wear? It's quite obvious. That's because I know the answer. Do you know the answer? Favourite pattern to wear on, on clothes? I think I know this one. Okay, we're switching brushes. We're going to the big brush now. Big brush. I've used this brush so many times. It's a bit of a mess now. <laughs> what we're going to do is we are going to mix a couple of shades of green. Now you can see I've got light green. Very, very light green. I've got some medium and then I've got some really dark greens, especially around the side here. So we're going to mix a very, very dark green, a medium green and a very, very light green, almost yellow. So grab your big brush, get it slightly wet because we haven't used it yet. And every time you dip, what have you got to do? Have a cheeky yeah. stick. We've already got green here. You can see this green here. We can definitely use some of that. But let's make a very light green. Now, just what we did earlier with the orange, when we made that pastel orange, we could make a light green using white and green, but that would give us another pastel shade. That's not bad. Let's have a look at that 
you don't have to mix this just have a look watch me for a second look what that looks like it's a pastel shade and that's quite nice but if we want a nice vibrant bright green we need to think about how green is made how is green made naughty do you know what colors are mixed together Ooh, to make green i'm gonna throw it out there is it a yellow and a blue yeah yeah well done Lloyd. all right let's take some yellow put it to the side and we could put a bit of blue in there to make a green but we're just going to use this green to lighten it up so instead of adding white we're going to lighten it up and have a look what that see that looks like a nice light green but it's vibrant it's not like the pastel one it's nice and vibrant and the more yellow you add the lighter it is can you see that's going like a really nice kind of lime green there oh, I like that. very nice so this is a very light green and we want a really light green. So mix your light green, take some yellow to the side, mix a tiny bit of green in there and make this very, very bright lime green. This one with the, with the white looks a bit more like a mint green. Mix. Looks like their blood. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Might look like the ladybird's wee wee. Now we want to make quite a bit because we're going to add this all to the background. So make sure you mix that together and have quite a bit there. Now we want to make a darker one. Take some yellow to the side, but add more green this time. And then you're going to get a lighter shade of that one there. It's going to be slightly different though. Bit lighter. So you've got light, you've got medium, might put a little bit more in there. Light, medium, and dark. We want to make a dark one next. Now, Naughty said that we make green using yellow and blue. So if we want to make this green darker, we can add some blue. So we made it lighter using yellow, because yellow is the lightest version. But if we want to make it darker, we can add some blue. So take some green to the side. Mm -hmm. Let's make it darker by adding some blue. Look at that dark green. That's really dark. Oh, that's a lovely dark green you've got in that picture. So you've got three different colours. Three different. Three different colours. Okay. Mix them up. You don't have to mix too much as well because we're going to be mixing it on the actual canvas itself. So while we've still got some of this dark green on our brush, let's grab our canvas and we'll start from the outside and we'll work our way in. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint like this, flick that way, flick that way, flick that way, flick that way. So we're almost doing crisscross, 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 crisscross. Criss -cross. <laughs> Love it. You can get a little bit of water in your brush. That will make the paint go a bit smoother like this. Can you see that? A little bit of paint, water in your brush will make the paint go smoother. Oh yeah. We're going crisscross, 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 crisscross. We're going to do a little halo around a little bit here, just down this side, using the dark green. We've got this really dark So we're going to the darkest one first. Yep, and you can go around onto the side as well. We're doing this crisscross, 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 and that's going to give us this dotty, soft texture that we've got in the background here. So you can see all the brush strokes a little bit here. Yeah, so you can still see the brush strokes on this one. Is that what you're going for? Yeah. So Textured effect. Okay, so we use our dark green still. I'm going to paint around the side. That's a good little tip as well. Remember to paint the sides because you are going to hang this up, little sippers, and you will kick yourself if you haven't mm -hmm. got this looking really good at every single angle. Yeah, it's nice when it kind of folds around, isn't it? When you're hanging up and kind of folds around, you've got the messy sides. So I'm just dabbing the sides with that colour. Make sure it looks nice and green around the edges so that foliage kind of follows round okay when you've got that kind of area completed we can go down to the next color now i'm not washing my brush i'm keeping all that dark color oh i've got a dirty brush even though it's pretty you know quite a lot of it get as much of it as you can we're going to go down to our medium color now so that's the one we made in the middle 
And then we're going to do the same thing and we can overlap a little bit. Like Doesn't matter if it's not a dry picture. No, it's actually better if it's not dry because okay. it kind of blends a little bit. So we're going crisscross, crisscross. And you might run out of paint, you might need to make a little bit more. You can just keep going there. We're going to do a layer of this colour here. Fill any of them little white bits that you've got. So if you've still got some little white squares peeping through, paint over them. Just keep doing the back and forth, back and forth. Use all of that paint up. Good technique. I like this back and forth. It's like a little windscreen wiper, isn't it? <laughs> True. So I did for you little slippers. I want to know what is a ladybug's favorite pattern to wear on clothes or a dress? Mm, favorite wonder. pattern. They love this pattern. <laughs> you might see it on clothes. You might see it all around. What is that pattern? The answer I was looking for was polka dots. <laughs> Come on, who got that right? If you got it right, well done you. Well done you. Now. We are going to paint over the antenna and legs. I know it's scary. You might see the sketch ever so slightly through it. Look, there it is. The sketch is just there. You might ever so slightly see the sketch through it, but don't worry, we've drawn them so we can paint them. We'll find it. We will find the antenna. And we'll paint them. And if we completely lose them, we'll paint them again. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to do for that medium shade. Let's go to the light shade now. This light shade here. We're gonna paint all the way up to the head now. And we're still going that back and forth. And is this with the big brush then? Big brush, yeah. You can do medium brush if you want. But I quite like the, the big brush for this one. Covers a little bit more. And of course, you can do a couple of crisscrosses over here. I like the fact that it's all blending in with each of those green tones you've got in there. Yeah. Just all cut, kind of mixes in. Yeah, I like that. Just keep mixing back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna do, and it, you have to be a little bit careful with the back and forth as you get a little bit closer. You might actually then have to cut in and around. So let's do that. So let's cut around here, round our little head. Without you can go with your big brush, or you can go down to your medium brush. Give it a good wash. You can go in with your medium brush, go around the head like this. So you get a nice fine line around, around. You want to make sure that there's no white bits. If you paint a little bit onto your head, it's okay, because you can always, oh, be careful with the black paint if it's still wet. Be careful. That will blend in. Once I paint over the top. I didn't realise how clever ladybirds are. Do you know that they actually play dead to fool <laughs> animals that are trying to eat them? They That's actually play dead. Funny. <laughs> They're clever. Like, clever I don't know, you don't want me. They just lie still and pretend. Just sleep for a bit. <laughs> Have a little cheeky nap. Hope that the pretty goes away. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to paint around this side here using my medium brush and then we can carry on with the back and forth. And the good thing is, is that paint is still wet so it's blending out, changing colour when it's mixing with some of the other colours there, the other greens. Some of the greens are getting a little bit darker. That's it. I like to just paint all the way around here because then I can get a bit dabby. 
you need more detail, can you go with your small brush in that area? Because I know it'll be hard to sometimes yeah, get that detail. Yeah, you can use any brush that is suitable for the moment. So you can switch it up if you're struggling. Okay, so now I've done that round there. I'll carry on with the mixing and blending. Mix and blend, my friends. Mix and blend. How are you guys getting on with your mix and blending? Is it looking like a ladybird so far? If it isn't, don't worry. We're not there just yet. So hang in there. Slow and steady wins the race. There you go. So I'm going to go quite close to my area where it's light green. And I'm going to go in with the medium green there and start overlapping it a little bit. Get some of them greens merging and changing colours. Oh, I've got a good dad joke. Yeah, it's a good it. one. Okay. Little snippers. This is a good one. See if you can get this. Where do lots of bugs get off the train? Hmm. Mm. So where do lots of bugs get off a train? You can get this one. I promise you can get this one. Okay, so I'm going a little bit closer. Some of the greens down near the front here. It's a special stop. I'll give you a little hint. It's a special stop. What kind of stop would it be? Hmm. Now, I do like to go in with a touch of this ochre yellow, the mustard yellow, and just add some of this colour in. Now, oh, you're just throwing it in there. Yeah, if you go over it a couple of times, it actually makes a couple of the greens a little bit more of an earthier colour as opposed to a bright colour. Yeah, it tones it down just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so, so you can keep it bright if you want, but it starts turning it a little bit more muddy and earthy. And just paint that in as well, and it blends back and forth. It just blends out them colours. Now keep playing around with your different greens. You've got your dark green. I think I'm nearly running out of my dark green. So put a bit of green and blue in there again. Add some more of that dark green in there. So keep going back and forth. You can go down here. Go into the middle a little bit more, darken some of these areas. That's a little bit lighter. And can you see I'm just back? around the sides that dark color i do like the dark going around the sides a little bit gives a bit more of a misty magical look around the top too has anyone got the last dad joke where do lots of bugs get off the station it's a bit difficult now i'm going up from amateur level to intermediate yeah. I think you can get this one though. Oh. Let's get creative. Get creative with your answers. Maybe. I think there's lots of them. There's lots of bugs. Where would they get off? What place would it be? Hmm. I don't know. This is a hard one. Should I tell them? Yeah. Okay, so where do lots of bugs get off the station? The answer I was looking for was. Infestation. infestation infestation that's where they get off because it's an infestation did you get that, that? Is hard. did you get that it was really hard i know i'm making it up that is hard have a cheeky sip <laughs> add some more of that yellow yellow ochre up here going a bit closer to the body i quite like the little bright halo a little bit around the body makes it stand out a bit It's nicely drying on the ladybug as well. It's saying ladybird and ladybug for the <laughs> show. We don't even know. We're, we're mixing up. It's because I keep hearing you say um, bugs. I've got loads of bugs. Now just, that's why. Yeah. It's good. I'm saying that. Is it the North? North America, you said? North America say that? That's exactly correct, picture. Mm -hmm. So North America refer to the same insects as ladybugs. Ladybugs. Okay, nearly done around here. I'm just going to tidy up the bits closer. 
make it a little bit darker. I like that little light yellow peeping through in areas. Do you know when I was growing up, like I used to think that some ladybugs were poisonous. Yeah, so did I. I used to get really scared of mm. multicolored or different they not? colors. They are actually not oh. poisonous. So myth has been busted <laughs> today, little sippers. Do you want me to tell the facts? Yes. Okay, so apparently, apparently there are no known ladybird or bug species that are poisonous or toxic wow. to humans based on their coloration. Mm. So, so there's no poisonous ones. We don't need to worry. We can pick up the ladybugs. We can pick them up and enjoy them. But be careful. They might put their, like, blood and wee-wee on you. Which <laughs> so be careful about that. The stinky blood. Stinky blood. Okay. No poisonous. That's great. No poison. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay, last little bit here around the body. It's a very wet background now. There's lots and lots there. Maybe use your little medium brush. Gonna put in a couple more of that oaky yellow in areas. Oh, there's a bit of red in that. Why not throw it in there? Blend that out. So we've got loads of different greens here now. Some little yellows peeping through. Maybe you go down to your little medium brush. Go in and do some backwards and forwards with your medium brush too. Nice muffled background here. Just gonna cut in around this bit at the top. A little bit of a darker green. Maybe put some of these dark bits in here as well. Get a bit more texture. Oh, I'm loving this effect. It really does. It looks like it's on lots of grass or woodlands or somewhere in a deep foresty jungle or somewhere like mm -hmm. that. It does, doesn't it? It really does. Go. There's some elements here, just a little bit of white squares peeping through. So I can really try and get that, or I can always just paint the red up to the line too. Now I have lost my legs a little bit. Let's find them again. We'll get them back in a minute. That will dry. Let's make, let's do our little spot, shall we? Now we wait for this background to dry. You can always add as well. I do like to do this sometimes. A little bit of dark blue into the corners. Darken it up a little bit. Just into this corner over here. That dark blue is mixed in with some of the greens, making it nice and deep and dark. Like that bit of litter alliteration. <laughs> alliteration. I don't get my words out today, picture. Deep and, dark. Deep and dark. Sounds like a scary movie. <laughs> Talking about scary movies. What happens if you scare a ladybird? Mm. 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 Can, you, can, you, can you tell me the answer, little sippers? What happens if you scare a ladybird? That's how you'll scare it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? Do you know the answer? What happens? Tell hmm. me. Let me know. Hmm. Okay. Let's wash our brush and let's have a little look. We've got the reflection, the little white reflection. We can do the little white reflection, and then we've got these bits here. Let's. I think maybe let's do the. Let's do the spots first. 
And then we can do the reflection afterwards. Let's do this twice. I'm going to use my medium breath again. Have a dip. I'm a cheeky sip. Cheeky sip. These spots here. You might have lost some of them. But we can improvise. Go with the flow a bit. There's one that comes down here, isn't there? Comes down. It's a bit wobbly. It's not a perfect circle. It's like this. We don't want a perfect circle. They're so so diverse. We want different colours. We want different patterns. Mm -hmm. We said there's over six thousand different species of ladybirds. So mix it up. Mm -hmm. Put your own little twist on yours. Okay. And then this one here. It goes so fast when you're painting. It does go quite fast. And you know what also is quite fast? The ladybird. They can actually fly quite fast. You really? Don't, you don't think it, but they can actually mm. fly quite fast. You realise that when you try to pick one up and it flies away. <laughs> You're like, where'd that go? But for tiny little bugs, they actually fly up to three miles per hour. Wow. That's quite fast. That's very fast. Okay. Paint around the side. Oh, I messed a little bit there. I have to go in and paint that. Another little one. Did we do another one here? Maybe I'll do another little one here. It's around the side here. There you go. Oh, another little one here. Oh, it's starting to take shape now. Is yours starting to take shape too, little sippers? Is it starting to look good? Mm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm mm. gonna say it's starting to look good. Are you getting confident with your creation? Yeah, I think you should be. I think you should be. Let's do the white spots on the top here, but also the reflection. So give your brush a really good wash. And every time you dip, what we gotta do, picture? Have a cheeky sip. We've got the two white spots here, we've got two over here, and then we've got the reflection just there. Mm. We're going to use our medium brush to do this one, this one, and then we might go to our small brush to do the other little reflection. We've got that little reflection there at the, the, the top here as well and here. So we'll do a couple of reflections, but we'll use our medium brush for now. Before that, I'm going to tell you the last question. Let's hear it. The question was, what happens if you scare a ladybug? Hmm. Mm. What is it? I'm trying to help you with the bug this time. I didn't say bird, I said bug. What happens if you scare a ladybug? Mm. They bug out. They bug <laughs> out. That's what they do. They bug out. <laughs> is that a thing? Oh, that was a bad one. I think the bad one is a good one. <laughs> That's what, what did you think? Are, right? What did you think, Sippers? Was that a bad good one or, or a bad, bad one? <laughs> I said bad, good one. Right, so we've got one up here. Remember, we've lost it a little bit because we painted it black. So we need to paint it again. And this is just a little wobbly little spot here. Concentration. And then another one over this side. Now, you probably lost your legs when you might be freaking out a bit. Like, oh no, I lost my legs. It's okay. We'll find them again. If we drew them, we can paint. Now, if you're using a stretch canvas, sometimes you can raise it up to the light and actually find it. 
Oh, that's a nice little sip yeah. tip there. Yeah, that's quite handy. Depends on how dark you've done your greens. You might have gone for a different background. You might be able to see your legs. Yeah, have you got a bit experimental? Have you gone for a different colour? Or have you okay. stuck with the green hues for this one? Do a little reflection kind of circle here. So it's a little bit of white on the back of the ladybird. It's a light reflection. Looks nice and shiny. Oh, I like that little shimmer. There's a little shine here too. It looks like a little colour. It does look like he's going to a black tie then. <laughs> Now be careful of your your black spot, it might blend in a little bit. So just be careful not to paint onto the black paint. And you can move to your different brush if it's too hard to use your medium brush at this point. Move down to a small one. We'll go down to a small one anyway now, so. Let's go down to our small one. Get it wet. We're going to do them two little eyes. Well, they're not eyes, they're spots, but... They look, look like eyes. I used to think they were eyes when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, I used to think these were the eyes. There's so many things that could mm. be the eyes. They're not. Two little circles. Now it's hard using a small brush. That's where you really hold your breath. Concentration. So you get focused, so we get focused little sippers. The last thing you need to do when you're focusing is hearing somebody tell your dad joke. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do. That's what he's gonna do. Okay, so can you tell me what do you call a bunny rabbit that is covered in lady bats? Covered head to toe bunny rabbit. What would you call a bunny rabbit covered head to toe in lady bats? Answers, please. Come on, you can do this. Think. Mm -hmm. And then shout them out. And hopefully you've got the answer on. I'm going to do this little reflection here at the top of the head and then also near the bottom of the head, the end of the head, just in front of them two dots from just there. Okay. Let's do the little reflection here. It's just a little tiny line like this. Whoop. Well, that's really tiny. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny little reflection. These are the little details that you don't really think matter, but they really do. It's a little detail. Maybe just do a little one here. And then right, just before this bump at the end, we want it here. There we go. Baby wipes. Our oh, picture's got herself messy, and this is why we always say, have yourself some baby wipes <laughs> because you might get a little bit messy now and again. And happy little accidents do happen when you're creating, and that's a mm -hmm. good thing. It means you're really getting into the swing of things. You're getting creative. Let's give you a little wipe. Thank picture. you. There we go. There we go. Look at that. See, look. Look at that. It's like magic. Naughty is very handy for wiping my hands. Look at that. Disappeared. Okay. Just like magic. Look, our ladybirds coming together. Looks 3D because you've got the different shades of red there. I'm loving that. And I think it's time now, actually, before we do the legs, should we do this little line that separates the kind of shell? Yeah, that's the shell little line. Yeah, let's do that. The elytra there, so it flips into two. Let's do that. So let's wash our brush. A little dip. Dip, dip. Get your medium brush for me because we always like to mix a paint with the medium brush. So this colour is actually just a kind of a dark red grey colour. So we're going to do that. Mm. So mix your red like we did earlier with a tiny touch of blue. Nice. It was that colour there that we did earlier. It's dry now. So a bit of red, tiny bit, not too much of blue. Cheeky little dab. There we go. Yes. A little bit of blue. So now that's a dark red colour. Maybe even a little bit more. It's always better to add a little bit at a time and see what your colour 
Now you can use this brush or you can go to your small brush, it's up to you. You can use the medium brush, but you have to use the very, very tip of it like this. Oh, really delicate. Just the tip. And you want to curve all the way down like that. Oh, I just went through the white paint, so it's smudged a little bit. Just like that. Perfect. Just separates it ever so slightly. Might add just a touch more. You see that line open up when it goes to fly away. Mm -hmm. Opens up two separate pieces and the wings come out. It's like a little transformer. <laughs> it is actually. Good spot. Good spot. Oh, Peach has got the joke food today. <laughs> so I thought I'd be that joke just earlier. I wanted you to tell me, what would you call a bug? Not a bug. What would you call a bug? I don't want to give you the answer. I'm going to give you the answer. Do you want to give them the answer? Should I give you the answer? Hmm. Have they guessed it yet? What would you call a bunny that's covered in ladybirds? Let's see if you can get this one. A bunny that's covered in ladybirds. Just mm -hmm. give me the answer. Yeah, give them the answer. Bugs Bunny. Yay! I'll, I'll try and I'll try and give you a hit. <laughs> but Bugs Bunny. Did you get that? Did you get that? Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. So, oh. Are you getting messy again, picture? I am. We are going to use the black now to do the legs. But what we want to make sure is that this black is nice and runny. Do you want it a little bit runnier? You want it a little bit smoother so we can do the legs quite easy. Now, we will be using our small brush. But what I do like to do is I like to get a little puddle on my palette. Puddle on your palette. Okay. Of, of the dirty water. So a couple of droplets. So if you can see the droplets. Droplets of water on my palette. So I've got maybe three or four droplets. I can't really show you because it's going to drip everywhere. Yeah, it's going to be a bit messy. That is water. Oh, we can see it, we can see it. Then you want to take some black paint, put it in the little puddle and mix it. So you've got a nice little runny puddle like this. Can you see? Little runny puddle, it's a little bit runnier. You want a nice runny black paint, not too runny. Less is more but definitely runnier than what we've been using. So it's water, watery, watery, water and black mixed together. So it's a nice watery, runny black paint. Then we're not gonna use a medium brush for this. We're gonna use the small brush. Oh, small brush. Go back to the small brush. Oh no, where did I put it? Small brush. Oh, no, baby brush, there it is, it's hiding. Then you dip it into the runny black paint. And we're going to paint our legs. Now, as I said, you might have lost your legs a little bit. Do you remember how we did it, though? We did a little circle, half kind of circle shape, semicircle. We did a little tiny dot like this. Then we did a big sausage shape like this. Oh, be careful because if your background, if you painted really thick like I did, it might be a little bit wet. So it might blend in with your black paint ever so slightly. So you might need to wait for it to dry a little bit. I can still do mine a little bit. You can see it's just blended a little bit. So it's not as strong in black. Might need to go over it again. And then we do another shape. So we go down, across, and back up. Get smaller and thinner. Down, thin. Maybe a tiny little one. And then the foot, which is two little lines. Whoop. Nice. Got our feet back, yay! <laughs> we do the same here. Oh, look, smudged baby work! It happens. That's my hand. That is. Yes. There we go. So when you do that, sometimes you need to be careful. You need to just dab it ever so slightly. Oh, she's a little dab dab. Try not to take too much of the paint off underneath. Let me just 
I usually do it like this. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Go. Usually get my little finger underneath the baby wipe and just dab ever so slightly. Dab, and if you can see, if it takes, if I press too hard, it will take some of the paint off underneath. So you have to be very careful. It's going to be soft with it. Soft with it. It's like a little surgeon. It's a little surgery going on here. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go. I think there's two baby mouse wipes. So ah, we have two, two baby, wipes. baby wipes. Wasting all the baby wipes. There we go. So I put my finger in and I dab it ever so slightly. Oh, I press a bit hard there, so it come come a little bit off. So you see a little bit of that red coming That's through. That's okay. Yeah, so you can just get a little bit of red or orange that you've got left and you touch it up. I put that orange just there. Still some of it there. So this is good to see. If you ever make a happy little accident, you can always touch it up. Yeah. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. It's just like. Magic. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we were painting our little legs with our runny black paint. Remember, what did we do? So we did that one. Let's do one over this side. We've got that little half circle, semicircle. Tiny little one. Do the big sausage over this side. To my sausages again. <laughs> and then we're going to do some small little segments. Down, across, and back up. Down, across, and back up. Maybe come a little bit more around this way down. Tiny little one and then a foot. There we go. Just like he's celebrating. <laughs> yeah, he's got the I'm out 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 just it. don't care. Why not? We're yeah. celebrating too. Are you sipping along with us? Have you finished not sip? Oh, have you finished your painting? Some people paint really That's far. That's so true. That's so true. Are you a fast one? Are you a fast little sipper? Do another little one and then do a big sausage shape. Maybe you want to paint round. Still got to paint that little bit there. Oh, that's a good idea. With green. Oh, you know that we like to sip. I found out that ladybirds like to sip too. <gasps> what do they sip on? They're sippers. That's that's the question I'm gonna throw out to the sippers. What drink do ladybirds like to sip? What's their favorite sip? Ladybirds have a favorite sip. Can you tell me what their favorite sip is? Mm. You know the answer. Well done, you. <laughs> okay, last leg, and then we just got the antenna. Is it last it. leg? Last leg, literally, last leg. Last right leg. There. We're in the last. final furlong. We're finally there. Let's do that big sausage shape. Maybe I'll bend this one so it comes this direction. And then. And then a tiny little foot. This one's a little bit shorter. Keep calling. Touch up any of your little spots. Any bits that you might have painted over. I don't know if you can see, but I painted over this little bit here. So I'm just going to sharpen that up and go around. Just make it a bit sharper. Just yeah. smooth out those edges. Yeah, there's some areas where you might have just got a bit carried away when you're doing that background and you're doing all them expressive back and forth. You can use the paintbrush now to just go back around some of them edges. That's really nice. It almost gives it a nice border. Good sharpness to it now. Touch it up, make it neater. There we go. Yeah. And while you're touching up those last borders, did anyone get my final dad joke, which was, what sip do ladybugs like to drink? They love this stuff. Ladybugs, ladybirds, you know this. <laughs> the answer is, of course, 
Beetlejuice. Oh, that's Who got that? Who got that? If you got that right, give yourself an extra pat on the back. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Okay, now we're going to go in with our mustard ochre yellow, which is this colour here. Here. And we're going to use a small brush to do these nice little cute antennas. Or antennae. Antennae, antennas. Antennae, antennae. We'll see. Antennas, but it's antennae. Wiggle it out either side here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Getting a little bit thicker at the end, a little bit thinner. And I actually like to put a tiny touch of brown, a little brown. We haven't used burnt umber yet. No, we haven't. Just on the end there, little touch of it on the end. And then I do like to have a tiny, 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 tiny touch of black there too. Deep into the brown. A little matchsticks, little wobbly matchsticks. So true. Da, 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 da. You can see some of my background still slightly wet. You can also go in with your big brush and add a little bit more of the light greens if you wanted to. Now that it's slightly drier, you can go in and add oh, put water in that paint if it dry. Go in and add slightly lighter parts to the background if you want to in some areas. Just because it blends together and goes quite dark, you can actually go in and add lighter parts again. Just to make it stand out in certain areas. Can you see how it kind of looks nice when you paint over? Oh, it's looking really nice. I like that extra touch there. Just brings out a couple of areas because it gets quite dark. Yeah, brightens up a bit. Yeah, so it just makes make some of that light green again. Remember, we mix some of that green with the yellow. And what is the bit that we do need to do Ooh. that I haven't done yet? How That's do we make this yours? That's a question. Do you know what? I think it's a trick question. It's a trick question because. I think we need to sign our work. Yes. That's how we make it our sign your work, Sippers. Come on, make it yours. Be sign proud of your work. creation. You do it with your small brush and do it over in the corner, maybe the right hand corner. That's where they usually look for a signature over that right hand side. And you can do your initials, you can do your whole name. I actually did mine in ochre yellow colour. Well, that's a nice colour to do because you've got that in the artwork as well. Yeah, exactly. So this colour here. Get a bit of water in the paint if you want it to be smooth. But you could just do a tiny little signature there. Oh, nice and delicate. Take your time with it. Take your time. And the good thing is, well, this is this is a good good thing. Because it's a medium good thing. Yeah. Because we have ladybugs usually live between two years and maybe sometimes three years. Oh, that's quite long. Not very long compared to ours, but... But I'll tell you something better. What's that? Your artwork will last forever. Oh, that's very true. And that's this why will last forever. this is even better. You can have a ladybug <laughs> that will last forever and never. <laughs> All right, Dippers. Time to put our brushes down. You might actually continue for a little bit longer. Brushes down. Brushes down. Brushes down. Brushes down. Look, do you want to go over the yes. kitchen, Eleanor? Right, we want to see your creations. Now you've created your own ladybird. Masterpiece. Your masterpiece, masterpiece in, minutes. in minutes. We want you to send us your creations. So we've got our lovely Facebook group where you can find us. You can share your creations with us. Mm -hmm. We want to see it. So put in Art Sippers Kids Club and you will find it. Send us a picture of your artwork and we will give a prize to one person. Ooh. One person. Oh, one lucky one. little sipper will win a prize. So we need to see we your creation. We won't choose the best one. We pick it at random, don't Close we? Close our eyes, <laughs> pick it out of the hat, boom. The winner could be you. So make sure you send them in. Hashtag art sippers challenge. 
we'll pop it into our Facebook group so we can see it in there too. Mm -hmm. And we always love to see anything creative that you get. We, do, up to. we, do, we, we love... can't see your work right now. We can't see you. You can see us, but we can't see you. So we'd no, love to see that. your creations and make sure you share your work. That is part of the Art Supers Challenge is to show someone else your work. So share it with someone, share it with a family member, show them. You can send them a picture of it or you can put it up on your wall so we'll everybody say, can. You cannot hide it. Don't <laughs> hide your hide creativity. It. We want to see it the whole world spread it out for the whole world mm -hmm. but it's been a challenge and hopefully you've enjoyed this art service challenge hopefully you've gone from zero to picasso <laughs> in just under 90 minutes yes and guys enjoy your sip remember to stay curious and stay creative till next time <laughs> sip sip <Bye -bye. laughs>